GOT channel. This tutorial series introduces the logging function for collecting device values. Let's get started with an overview of the logging function. The logging function collects and stores device values from various controllers connected to GOT. The collected device values are called logging data. Logging data can be displayed on the GOT screen as a graph or list. You can visualize the data and check information without the need of a PC. You can save logging data to a CSV file or a Unicode text file. You can also process the saved files on your PC, create graphs, and use them for data analysis. We will now explain the process of collecting device values from a controller and saving them to the GOT. When the condition for collecting device values is satisfied, the controller's device values are collected and saved in the buffering area, a temporary storage space in the GOT. When the number of logs in the buffering area reaches a predetermined threshold, the data is saved to a temporary file on a data storage device, such as an SD card inserted into the GOT. When the number of logs in the temporary file reaches a predetermined threshold, the data is saved to a logging file. At the same time, it is also possible to create and save text data such as CSV files. By repeating this process, logging files and CSV files accumulate on the SD card. When the number of logging files exceeds the set maximum file count, the oldest logging file is overridden. There are two modes for storing logging data. One is file save mode, which saves logging data in a file, and the other is buffer historical mode, which saves logging data in the buffering area. In this section, we will walk you through the flow of logging data and the features and uses of each storage mode. In the file save mode, the collected device values are temporarily saved in the buffering area before being saved as a logging file on a data storage device such as an SD card inserted into the GOT. The file save mode is ideal for saving a large amount of logging data, viewing past logging data on a graph or list, or analyzing logging data on a PC. The buffer historical mode only stores the collected device values in the GOT's buffering area and does not generate logging files. Since the buffer historical mode does not generate logging files, it is a suitable choice when you want to show a graph or list of the logging data quickly or when you do not need to store a large amount of logging data. And that concludes our introduction to the logging function. We have also prepared videos on how to configure and use the logging function, so don't forget to check them out.